hello friends today uh, i am going to show you a demonstration of how you can use your secondary router in a bridge mode if you want to see uh, the other way you can use your secondary router as an additional access point please go on the link i am providing on the right corner and uh, use that tutorial to set up as an additional access point let me explain you what is a bridge mode so bridge mode from the name itself you can understand the bridge mode creates a bridge between your primary router and the secondary router wirelessly the access point method which i have shown in earlier video was using ethernet cable to connect from primary router to the secondary router to create an additional access point but in this case we are using wireless connectivity between the two routers that means i am using the wi-fi signal of router 1 in the router 2 to make it as an additional ethernet point from which i can connect multiple device could be an xbox or it could be your tv uh, or it could be any other streaming device that can use a uh, ethernet connectivity from the lan point of the route secondary router to get the faster speed and uh, it allows to connect create a separate network but again if you go on as an entire picture this becomes a complete LAN network how are we going to set up this thing I am going to explain you uh, just understand uh, these can be in separate rooms it, it, they don't need to be very close to each other you can have uh, your primary router which is very close to the point where your internet is coming to and the secondary router could be in the another floor or in another spare room and you can connect it so let's go and see how to configure okay so the first thing you will do is you have to log in to your primary router to capture some basic settings so my primary network or a wi-fi is netgear 67 5g and i'm connected to it i need to go and access my router the default way to do that is go to 192.168.0.1 and press enter. You will be asked to enter your admin user ID and password. If you have not changed the password, uh, it will be default password or else you will have your own password that you need to use. What things you need from the first router or a primary router? Uh, you need very basic parameters to capture uh, basically you need to know the network name that is called SSID and the password for example I have used ABCD1234 uh, for both these devices so uh, you will take note of primary routers SSID and password so here is my SSID uh, it is recommended to go with the 5G band because that gives you better speed so here is a primary network SSID I set I have and then this is my password of primary router okay now let us this is all that's all you need when you are configuring your secondary router uh, so we captured details for this now now we are going to configure the router number 2 how to configure it once your router is light up you will see its own Wi-Fi network so once you see a Wi-Fi network for that, you go and connect to that Wi-Fi network. So for me, the router 2 got network 13, which is a Wi-Fi zone. So I'll be connecting to that network now. Okay. Because this router currently does not have internet, you can see the icon which is having no internet. So now let me, as I explained, you need to go and log in to your router first. So you can go and say 192. 192.168.0.1 you can also use routers login.net to go to your router settings uh, either of that will work now you can see r77000 here right that's the network now you're here you see your internet is not connected right because it doesn't have uh, the connectivity so now what are we going to do we're going to advanced tab uh, if you are not using Netgear router, use go to the advanced setting where you find something called bridge mode 
or AP mode or repeating mode. So this kind of settings should be there uh, where you can configure your breach mode. I click on this radio button for breach mode and click on setup breach mode button and then as soon as you come here you can select whichever frequency you want to connect it could be 5 gigahertz or it could be the base frequency which is 2.5 since we are going to use a 5 gigahertz frequency I exactly need to go and select 5 gigahertz here change the SSID which will be the primary routers SSID and the password which is of primary router so this will be a b c one two three four and then you click on apply and then you need to again click on apply okay so here it will start rebooting your router now remember as i told earlier this wi-fi network 13 which was secondary routers Wi-Fi will not be available hereafter. Only this router's LAN points can be used to create additional, connect additional devices. So if you see from the secondary router, the LAN point I'm connecting to the laptop's ethernet port. Let's see if we get now the network. So guys, you can see uh, my LAN point is working. It's no more connected to Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi is off. The LAN is connected. Uh, let's see this. If I'm getting internet now. Yes. Uh, let's check the speed. So if you see, I am getting very good speed. Now, as you have seen, uh, my secondary router uh, is connected in a bridge mode with primary router. Uh, it has lost its identity because I have selected a checkbox to have an uh, dynamic IP allocation. So if you want to go and see uh, which device uh, is that uh, so that you can log into that router, you have to go and type ARP-A that will do a network scan and show you all the dynamic uh, IPs which have been connected on the LAN network. So I just tried out all the IPs and when I clicked on 0 0.33, it went ahead and uh, I could get to connectivity of my secondary router. You can see that uh, it has got a internet connectivity established. Uh, Wi-Fi default will turn off as I told because now this has been connected in the, uh, uh, in the bridge mode. You can also use uh, any network utility uh, that will enable to you to see uh, what all the devices which have been connected on this network. So for example here you can see my R7000 is connected using a Wi-Fi network. So guys this is how you do end-to-end -end bridge mode setup. Uh, if you like the video please give thumbs up. If you have any questions please put it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, if you got some value out of this video please uh, Please consider subscribing my channel that will definitely uh, boost me to create more videos like this and uh, uh, share my knowledge with all of you. Thank you.